wonderful to get to that point and be the first life member of the club. And yeah, milestones are part of the game, but you know, nothing measures up against, I suppose, the, the Premiership of you know, 92. So that was the most wonderful experience. Number five, Dwayne Lamb. Time goes quickly and it, it scares me for the next 20. But uh, yeah, it's, it seems like in some ways it was yesterday and in other ways you, you, you see how the, the game's progressed now with the, you know, the different rules, you know, now with the substitutions and um, on and off the ground. You know, I'd love to be able to go back and sort of play in that situation because I hate to come off the ground. Clever hand pass back to Lamb. Now the Eagles surge down towards their forward line. Yeah, it was awesome, the, the noise compared to the year before being back at the MCG and the crowd that was there, it was, it was daunting. You felt like you were in a, uh, you know, a goldfish bowl and you know, they could hear every word you say and you couldn't hear anything because they were all talking to you loud off the, you know, in the stands. And so the excitement was just, you know, at such a pitch and the game seemed, it was like it was a million miles an hour and, you know, in some ways you didn't want to come near you in case, you know, there's an opportunity for the bloke you're playing on to sort of do something that make you look bad. But um, it was just a, a wonderful day to, you know, it was wonderful that we, you know, sort of the game progressed the way it did, so we were threatened and there was, you know, bits and pieces happened, but then we got on and we, we won probably not too far from the end, but it gave us that little, if you like, a few minutes to rejoice and, you know, like you, you just won Lotto and uh, no one else knew and you got to celebrate with each other and, um, yeah, you know, I still think probably the victory lap was probably just about the highlight, just to see the the amount of people that travelled across from the, the west and you know, pocketed in a couple of areas and just the excitement that they got out of it. It was just a massive day. And there it is! Memories sort of starting to not serve me well, but I can't remember a lot. I probably even remember the, uh, the Robert Scott rundown only because Mick probably talked it up for a period of time. You know, the truth is, he probably he slipped as he went round the corner, so I, uh, I caught him. But uh, it was always a good story that he, he caught Rui, and so that meant I was quicker, quicker than Robert Scott and the Pete Matera. So, uh, but yeah, sort of vague memories of bits and pieces, but the, uh, the end, end bits were wonderful. Over the top to Lamb. Dwayne Lamb steadies in defence. Mick just brought that, um, I suppose, that experience of the Eastern States. He brought, I think, the uh, the strength side to it. You know, the gym became a real focus to sort of, if you like, strengthen up. You know, we were very good at our home soil because we were quick and we cover ground, but we probably weren't as strong on the uh, the tracks away. So I think he brought that emphasis on building strength into our bodies. Just the, I think, his professionalism about. He was wonderful as far as his knowledge of opposition teams and players you came up against. So he really started to dissect the game down to individual contests and match up and all that sort of stuff. So it was a, a real professionalism and he, you know, he didn't sort of, all coaches are fully committed, but he didn't leave the same unturned. So he, uh, yeah, he was wonderful. Premiers 1992. Once you've, you've played a premiership, I think that's forever. So those memories every time we get back in touch and we don't do it, on a, a lot of occasions, but you get a good roll up and you know, memories come flooding back and you, you've obviously got your pox of guys you see more of, but you know, there is a bond there for life, but uh, it'll always be a wonderful memory.